do I need to keep it like professional or? <laughs> I would say the first word that comes to mind is that it's fun. Um, you try new things every day and um, you get to challenge yourself and every day is different, so fun. It's uh, really interesting because it's a very, very complex field and uh, it, uh, every like, day my like, perspective on games changes and perspective of how you make them changes. The thing about game design is such that it is so broad in its concept that you never really stop learning. There's things to do in the classroom and there's also things to do outside the classroom in your own time. It's a constant learning process and I think that's one of the most enjoyable aspects of it that you are not limited in your scope of learning. Uh, exciting because every day uh, is different from another one. So it's, it's never the same. It's, so yeah, it's exciting and I never get bored. Really, really fun. Challenging, but fun. It's a lot more involved than I'd imagined. I thought I'd be sitting programming, working in engine, but uh, I found myself making a card game and studying board game design. <laughs> There's a lot more to it than I had imagined. Well, personally to me, the opportunity to be in Boden and Norrbotten is uh, great because I love, I love the cold, I love the winters, I love to ski. Uh, so for me that's great. Uh, from a studying point of view, Boden is a calm place. It, uh, it really allows you to focus on your studies and there are very few distractions. It's cold but very beautiful and it has that cozy small town feeling. Uh, cold and interesting. <laughs> Cold, <laughs> but beautiful. Um, I would say that you never get tired of seeing the northern lights. I remember the first day I saw them and it was magical. Beautiful middle of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's the main feature of this place. Well, the main one to put it bluntly is that if you look at the old version we had for cu curriculums, it was built to put people on a factory floor. This curriculum is not built that, it's built to develop yourself creatively. We get to, you get to work with your strengths at essentially every step of the way, while always getting to challenge yourself. Of course it requires a different attitude, but if you have it, this is an amazing develop environment to develop your skills. The fact that you get to learn by doing and are guided through every step through that process is what is the main differentiating factor I feel. It's uh, the, the whole hands-on experience and getting to learn through your own mistakes is what makes you learn stuff better and is also uh, supplemented well by also having sort of an expert panel you can always refer, defer to in the form of mentors or uh, lecturers that are on site. The, the freedom that you're given because it's not structured in the normal way where you have a teacher and you're given a chapter that you have to learn. Um, we work in group settings almost exclusively um, and so you have the freedom within those groups to you know say I want to learn something new, I want to you know challenge myself and you get to learn so much from that and then we also have these great lectures from professionals that come all the way up here to spend the day here and teach you <laughs> about the field that they're in. Uh, the education is very much what you make it and what you want to do and you are responsible for it, uh, which also means that you need to take that responsibility, but you also have the opportunity to shape your education to be what you want it to be and what you want to do. It's definitely been the, the larger group projects, the game projects. We bring together a team of people with the different specialities, the artists, the programmers and the designers. And we get to see how everyone's different skills and abilities come together to, to make something truly unique. Something I, I could never have made myself, but I feel like I've contributed to. And that's, that's a really great feeling. 
I would say that people that this place attracts and come here, uh, because at the end of the day, I think they are the most important part here, because from them I learn the most. So it's people that come here. I feel like it's been UX design because I love fine-tuning uh, small parts of uh, games. Sound design was something that I easily overlooked and never really saw it for the depths and uh, contributions it really made to a game. Uh, undertaking the course here in future games just opened my eyes to the various technicalities that go into ensuring your events are in place, your systems are in place and how they are supplemented by good audio. It is something easily overlooked and is a thankless field, I would say, but it is a very captivating job. Well, I'm a nerd, so programming and working in engine and watching stuff come alive on the screen from idea to implementation. Well, I think the board game was just like a curveball because I did not even think about that. And then it was just so much fun being working on something physical and thinking about all the different steps of writing a rule book and thinking about all the mechanics and then trying to create it <laughs> with your hands. Um, so I felt like you got a very broad creative view of what the game is going to be like and instead of when you're uh, put in one position and you're working on that specific thing. So that was a lot of fun. And the level design, um, I also like because it's very visual and creative, but very challenging and scary. <laughs> My favorite part has been the, frankly, insane degree of industry contact that I have been given. Because while you can develop yourself incredibly and create a great portfolio up here, it is nothing compared to just how intimately you get to know and speak with people from all over the industry. Uh, when you're told that triple A grade producers just walk through the classroom occasionally and you thought that it was just some person looking at not checking out the facilities but no that's actually someone who's been developing some of the biggest games of this year. It is it's a, an indescribable feeling and getting a fist bump from the lead level designer of something that's going to be estimated to make money in the billions is quite intriguing. The knowledge that what we create here and the fact that we get to present our faces to these higher level industry people now, it gives us such a fantastic inroad into the industry where we can go essentially wherever we want to if we just put in the work.